Tes Tezai, which starts from the last sentence of Tes Vav Abbeis. There is a parak called the uh, the Shear of the Be'er there in Pasha's Chukas. There are certain miracles that happen with the Be'er of Miriam. And there's a, there's some, it's like a Shira, Shira of Be'er. And there's a juxtaposition betwe- between the word Oyalim and Necholim, tents and rivers. The way things were planted by rivers, as if tents were planted. Just like rivers have the capability of purifying somebody who's tome, right? You can go into the mikvah in a flowing river. And here we're talking about the tents of Torah, Yeshiva. We'll also take him from somebody who uh, uh, could be considered guilty to, 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 to have his zuchuyos. Then the Mishnah said, If you read the Shema backwards, you're also not Yotze. Ravami Ravasi, They were decorating the chuppah of Rabbi Lozer. Rabbi Lozer was going to get married. Rabbi Ravasi were occupying themselves in decorating the chuppah. Omer Lu, and they said, listen, while we're working, adahachi vahachi, while we're spending some time, Ezel v'ashma milsa today made Rosh, why don't you tell me a good vort that was said in yeshiva today? V'aizi v'eim elachu, and come and tell us. Azo ashkachei l'tana, they went and found the tana v'ktoni kamed Rav Yechman, who used to read the various prices of Rav Yechman. Kara Let's say you're reading Kriyash, right? gentlemen. You've all been there. He says, you know, And then you forget. Was I in the first parsha of Shema, or am I in the second parsha of Shema? Your mind wandered, and you don't know where you are. So let's say you know where you are. You're in the middle of a certain parak. You know, so you go back to that parak. You know, let's say you're in the middle of Ayash Im Shamoa. You don't have to go back to the Hafta. You go back to Vayam Shamoa and start again. Now, Bain Perak Le Perak, let's say you finished one of the Prokim, right? You could be between Vahafta Vahaya, or you could be Vahaya and Vayomer. You don't know where you are. Yazo Le Perak Rishon. To be, to be, to be uh, safe, go back to the first parak, because otherwise you might leave a parak out. Let's say you're in that situation being ksiva leksiva. You forgot. I said uchtavtem, uchtavtam, uchtavtam amuzos pesach vijar. But I don't know. Am I the first or second? So yachzu leksiva rishona. So the the Gemara tells you be safe. Go back to the first ksiva, the first pair. That's as long as you haven't started leman yirbu. Once a person starts leman yirbu, you know that you're finished with the last. You, didn't, you don't have to go back to the first. You can go back to the to the You don't have to go to the first because once I start Laman Yerbu, I certainly don't have to go to the first Vahafta. If we wouldn't have come to her except just this halacha, it wouldn't have been enough. Mishnah. Haumnin koirin berosha ilon. Chazal were very careful when workers were working for a balabayas that they shouldn't waste time because you're paying them an hourly rate. So workers who were up in a tree and comes time Kriyashma, they get a message. They're not required to come off of the tree and say Kriyashma. They can say Kriyashma where they are. We'll see a Balabayas not. Balabayas we're going to be required him to come down. He's not expert. He doesn't know what he's doing up there. He's going to fall, whatever. And then the issue is, what about Kavona? So, Ha'oymin karin kriya shema barosha ilan varsha nidba. Masha'enan rishon lasus kein betfila. Now, this is contradistinction to Shmona Esrei. Shmona Esrei requires more Kavona. And they require even the worker to, and that's on the cheshbin of the Balabayas. 
right? So, but we require them to come off the tree to, to, to daven there. Now, another concept regarding kavana. Chosen poter mikriyashma laila harishona ad motzei shabbos. Most people got married Wednesday night, right? Psula, we're learning ksubis. And the psula got married Wednesday night, so they had four nights where he was given to complete the act. Up until then, he's tarud, he's worried. Is she going to be a psula? She's not going to be a psula. What do I have to do if she's not a psula? All of the, so, so he's tarud. So that period of time, he's potter mikriyashma. Now, in ours, in bismana zeh, we don't have this on that. Because we're not, we're not, we're not expert in kavon anyways. So we are required to say kriyashma even, even chos. So he had, he has, he's potter from kriyashma until Shabbos. What's a Shabbos in Loasa Maisa? However, Maisa Bragamil Shanosa Isha the Karlala Risha, who in Ragamil the Nosi married a woman. He got, he read kriyashma the first night. Omer lo Tamid of the Madatana Rabbeinu Shachosim potter me kriyashma. I thought you told us a chosim is potter. Omer lo any shomer lechem levatel levenu malchus shemayim afilu Shabbos. I'm not listening to I am going to be mal. I can be the capital of Machu Shemayim. I can have Kavon. Don't rub on. So workers are allowed to stay up in the tree and read Kriyashma. Now, certain trees, olive and fig, even for Kriya, even for Shemon Esra, they could stay up there. Rashi explains because they had a lot of leaves. And they could stand firmly. There's no pachad to fall, and therefore they could stay there. But says the Gemara or the Bryson is quoted, Ushar Kola, you know, it's Jordan Lamata Mispali. Other trees, they have to come down because they're not so sturdy. And because they're gonna have Kavanish Wanasi, we're afraid that they're gonna fall. A balabai. These two trees are very small trees. Say again. These two trees, I can turn out very small trees, not a big deal. But if, if Rashi says they're and they have leaves they and they have down. branches as opposed to other trees. Other trees they have to come down, but not those two trees. Now the Balabayas though, he's not Meshubid for the work. He's required to come down no matter what. He's not comfortable up in the tree. By the workers, we make this exception because we don't want them to waste time of the balabais. Rami le Rav Mary Barod Bashmuel. Gentlemen, that's a pretty strange name. Rav Mary Bra, the son of Bashmuel. What do you mean? It should be right. Rav Mary, you know, Bar Rav Chana. What, what do you mean, the daughter of Bashmuel? Okay. So Shmuel's daughters were kidnapped. By Goyim. And one of the Goyim who kidnapped, the, who ended up marrying the daughter of Shmuel, and he converted to Yiddishkeit. And he was related to a lot of Gedoyim. But Rav Mary was born before he had converted. So really, he has no yichus to the father. His yichus was to the, to, to the daughter of Shmuel, whose, whose mother she was. So. Is there a yichus to the mother? Of course there's Yichus. What do you mean? What do you mean? Yiddishkeit follows the mother. So because the father was a Goy, he's still Jewish. And he had a, the Sheni Yichus through the grandfather was Shmuel, the Amoira Shmuel. So he's referred to as Rav Mary Brod Ba Shmuel. Because he, he's not referred to as the, because at the time that his father had him, he was not Jewish. It's just interesting. So Rami so Rav Mary, brother of Shmuel, said to Rav, it's not. Ha'unin koin b'rosha ilan rosha nidbach. Workers could read Kriya Shema even up in the tree. Alma lo boy kavana seems to imply that Kriya Shema doesn't require any kavana. Veriminu. I'll ask you a kasha we had before. Akor Shema, sar shechav nizlipo. Who were in Kriya Shema? You have to have kavana, we said, at least in the first pasuk. Shnem ha'shema Yisrael. Ula'alun omer askezu shema Yisrael. Malal and Bahaskes, which means careful thinking, Afghan Bahaskes, so Ishtik. So there was a steer. What do you mean? How can we allow them to read up in the tree? They need Kavana, and we say we need Kavana. Have you heard something about this? 
means when do we have them read? Only when they're not working. They have to be bottled from the malacha because they need kava. If they're working in chadami, they can't read. There's a price of Beis Hillel brought. Some people are oisik in the and read. Meaning, in the first parak we said Shema Yisrael, we said everyone holds you need kavana. There they can't be oisik in the malacha. When Beis Hillel brought a statement that even if they were working, they could also read, that's the second parsha, which doesn't require kavana. The Vahayam Shema doesn't require kavana. <coughs> so that they could read up in the tree because it didn't require the same kavana as the first parak. Period. So you have workers hired by a balabayas. So they're allowed to read Kriyashma. They are allowed to say the brachas before and after. These are the various things they're allowed to do while they're in the employ of the balabayas. And so it's like PTO. The balabayas has to pay for, you know, even though they're using time for these things, these are things that they're allowed to do while they work. The Eichlin Piton, they're allowed to eat their bread. Okay, again, whenever we see a Bach, right, whenever we see a letter with parentheses, go to the Bach, Bays. The Eichlin Piton, the nearby Alfasi, Rajri Gorsi, and Mavarkin Lefaneha, right, Mavarkin Lefaneha, Ulachra, we give them the time to make the bracha before and after. Umispalin Tfilash Oshmona Esrei, and they, they can daven. They can't be the chazim, because that's too much time. They noisin kapem, they cannot do duchni. Frank the Gemara v'hatanya me'ein yudches. There's another price that says we don't. They don't. They're not allowed to read all of Kriyashma if they're a worker. It takes too much time. They read havinenu, which is a shortened Shmona Esrei. All nafshes loy kasha rov gulin rov yeshua machlokes tanoim. Who held one of the Tanas held that you should not allow workers to say the full Kriyashma too much time. They have to say the shortened version. So E Rabbi Yoshua, my area poyala feel kolad nami. According to Rabbi Yoshua, he allows you to read the Avinenu at any time, not just workers. Rashi, how Rabbi Gavliel, how Rabbi Yoshua, not the Perik Tilas Hashach, Rabbi Gavliel Oimer, the Choyon v'Yom Mispal Adam Shmon Esrei Brachos. Rabbi Yeshua, remember Ein Shmon Esrei. Rabbi Yeshua says every day you can read the Havinenu. So what do you mean workers? Even anybody, according to Rabbi Yeshua, can say a shortened version. Both of the cases we just brought, the Bryce that even says Havinenu is Rabbi Gamliel. Loikasha kan bo'esin b'sparan, kan bo'esin b'sudosin. If they get full page wages, so then they're allowed to say the whole thing. But if they only get paid their meals, so then they can say the Havinenu and the Hatanya. A worker that's been hired full time by the Balabai is Korin Kriyashmam is Pali. He gets two brachas after his case. Bracha Rishona, which is Hazan Sakol, Ketikun, like a regular. Shnia has to shorten it. Poisech the Birchas Aretz, the Kodal and Boyne Ushalayim the Birchas Aretz. So he shortens it. When is all of these shortenings going on? The Med Vomer Mor Boisin Bischara. If he's being paid like a daily wage, but if he's only being paid for lunch, Avoisin Bissudason Oishay Balabais Meisim Bimoyim Bavarchin Kitul. Then they can say the full Shmon Esrei and they can say the full Benjamin. Chosin Potter Mikriash. So the Mishnah said again, Chosen, because he's worried about the Be'ila Rishona, he's Oisik B'mitzvah, Potter B'mitzvah. Chon Rabbonon says, B'shiv Tcha B'veisach, a prat lo Oisik B'mitzvah. When you're sitting in your house, you have to read Kriyashma, which excludes when you're Oisik in a mitzvah, then you're no, you don't have to read Kriyashma. Then it says, V'lech Tcha Badera, when you're on the road, prat lo Chosen. That excludes a Chosen. It's only when he's marrying a besula that he is potter. Because then we said there's a special tirda, a worry. 
So there's a, it's not just an oisik be mitzvah, but if you're torud in a mitzvah in a certain way. So for example, when you're koinus in almana, so there's no tirda there. So there he'd be chayv to be. Now my mashma, where do we see from these words these dini? Amar of Papa, ki derech. Like when you go on the road, a salesman. Ma derech rishus, avachanami rishus. It means, when are you supposed to read Kriyashma? When you, you don't have any, you know, there's no mitzvah involved. It's a choice. If I'm, I can go to work, I don't have to go to work. So there, I'm supposed to read Kriyashma. So the Gemara doesn't accept that. Milah skinah, the cause of our mitzvah, who says? Maybe I'm on the road for a mitzvah. No. And the Torah says I have to read anyway. No. In Cain, it would have said, walk. You're walking. It's when you have your own personal needs to take care of. We don't care. You're chayv to read Kriyashma. Had mitzvah, tiris. But if it's not your travelings, but your travelings on behalf of a mitzvah, then you're potter to read Kriyashma. So if this has to do with mitzvah, so you're performing a mitzvah when you're marrying an almon as well. But it's two things. Hacha torid, hacha loy torid. By a besula, he's worried. By an almon, he's not worried. Now, if it is, so what do you mean? Why do you, so right now the Gemara is focusing on the worry. So maybe it has something to do with mitzvah. He's he's a, a sale. He's got, he's an owner of a business. He he transports items by boat. His boat went off with a million dollars of merchandise, and the boat sunk. This guy's got a lot of worry. So, if it's worry that we're worried about, any worry. that any worry should prevent him from having to read Kriyashma. Yet Alma Amrav Abba Barzvid Amrav Ovel Chay B'Chol Mitzvah Samus now, an avel is being used here as an example of somebody who's worried, right? Because he just lost a, a, a family member. We have an oinen, the same thing. Oinen is just a one-day din. Yeah. Your potter and all mitzvahs has nothing to do with worry. But well, let's say it's the second night. Or let's say the second day. It's still haven't buried. It's not an oinen anymore. Right. The din is an avel is chayv in mitzvahs. Chutz menat filin shoi nebar ben peher tenebar perech chavu shalecha. But here the avelis is being used not as a mitzvah. It's being used that you're worried. I mean, hosum tira de rishus. So the Gemara says an avel is a personal, it's a personal tirda. It, it's not a mitzvah tirda. Pacha tirda de mitzvah. But being koinus of besula is a tirda de mitzvah. There you have another reason why it should be put. Mishnah. Rochatz laila harishon shemesa ishna. Rabbi Gamliel, we said in the previous Mishnah, also read Kriyashma, even though on the first night he got married. Mm-hmm. Not like what the, the, the Halacha told him. Not only that, even though the Halacha says a person who's an Ovel cannot shower, cannot wash your whole body, he washed his whole body the first night. Now this is going to, what the Gemara is going to deal with Perhaps it's because aninus only, only is in the daytime. But at night, you're not an oinin anymore. That's going to be one approach of the Gemara. Our dinim, we don't, an avel during shiva, doesn't, doesn't wash his whole body. And it extends throughout shloshim as well. There's a chumrah that extends even to shloshim. <coughs> so not to take a shower for shloshim? There's kulas by istinus. We're going to see here, but the, the strict halacha is an avel doesn't wash his whole goof, and even it extends through shloshim. That's why people I don't shave. Because of shabbos, shabbos shabbos. And then so the various heterim we're going to we we'll have in the tzurvim rabbanon, we're going to learn all the dinim of avelus soon. So rochatz leila rishon shemesa ishto. He took a sh- he did wash, even the first night after his wife died. You taught us that an Ovel, which is the, certainly an Ovel is the first Shiva, is uh, not allowed to, to wash. I'm not like rather, I'm very finicky. I can't, uh, 
I can't live one day without washing. See Rashi. Gamliel held that the night after the first day of Aninus is only Rabbonin. Like the other Yemeya Evel. And the Chacham did not make this Gzeira by people who were finicky. Is but that's Machlok is Tanoim over there. Whether Lila Rishon is Midar Rice or not. Prior to the Kuhar. Yeah, Obviously, it's prior to the Kuhar. Yeah. Shavas means even more. Let's say, Rochatz means what? Cold showers are more. Rochatz means washing your whole body at one time. Without water. So you wash different parts at that time. So if you don't do it all at one time, that's not called Rochatz Kol Gufo. He was Rochatz Kol Gufo. Uh -huh. So, so, the, so that, that's the first thing he did that would. That, is different, like, because he said he's an istinus, and he held by being finicky. He held the aninus, aninus midaraisa. He held he would not wash the first during the daytime. He held the aninus did not ex normally, for example, the daytime five hours ago was daytime, and the next night is not connected. It's the next day, so he held that aninus of the next night is not already midaraisa. It's only midarabonim. And the gzeira not to wash was only made on people who could withstand it. But if you're an istinus, if you're finicky, and you go, you have a lot of tsar by not washing, chachamim were not goyzer on you. And that's how the Gemara will explain how Rabbi Gamliel washed for the first night, even though his wife passed away that day. Vaitu. Ukishemes tevi avdo. Rabbi Gamliel had a famous evet knani, tevi. He was not Jewish, but Trachas, he's treated very honorably by Rabbi Gamliel. Kibul alav tanchumi. When Tevi died, he accepted the Choma, which normally by an Eved, by Goy, there's no Nechoma by Goyim, sorry, by Jews. But he accepted it for Tevi as well. There's no, uh, there's no Nechom Avelim by Avodim. Omer lehen, He's not like other avodim. Kosher haya. He's kosher, and therefore I'm going to accept tanchumim for. Now, third halacha. Chosen im rotsin likros kriyash malala rishon kore. If a chos and we hold this din today, we lend kriyash ma, even though we get married, because he can hold kop. We're not so. Careful with kavana and anything, so that's why the post can say today we can read Kriyashma. But Rabbi Shemuel Amar Loi Kolar What's a Lito Las Hashem Lito? Not everyone can say, Oh, I'm a, a tzaddik, so I can say Kriyashma. It's not so posh. Okay. My time, Rabbi Gamliel. Why did Rabbi Gamliel allow himself to bathe the night after his wife died? Sover Aninus Leila de Rabbanon, because he held that. Aninus following the day of Aninus is only midrabbanon. Echsiv va'achrisa ki yomar uvemokam istinus likos rabbanon. And in an istinus, so for example, there are various dinim that, for example, in the three weeks we don't shave. So there are heterim people who are istinus, people who it, they're, they're filled. They can't. It, there are heterim regarding istinus regarding other areas similar to this. Same thing with with. Bathing during the nine days, Rav Shechter has a whole din, has a whole treatise there regarding you know today. Those of us today, Manuel, we take a shower every day, like washing off our hands and face. Right. So, so not taking a shower would be very, very tsar for people. Mm -hmm. So there are it's yeah, regarding the same din of this. Cold water instead of hot water. You have to have a shino certainly, shino. certainly, but there are a even beyond that yeah. because shower today is like washing. They, they didn't day. take their. They, they didn't. They went rechitzas kol aguf once in a blue moon. Pleasure. We do it every day. Yeah, but it's, an, it's, a, it's a hot pleasure. That's what it is. Really. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. It's warm water. You're enjoying. You're enjoying the shower. Even though you have to shower, you're enjoying. It. Yeah. So during the night, so you do it cold. You take a cold shower is is better la certainly. But there there, for those there, there are the same kind of dinim today regarding istinus today, but you have to be an istinus. Yeah. Istinus means. You have to be in a real tsar uh -huh. by, by someone who, who, let's say, avoids taking a shower for nine days in a row. Mm -hmm. 
So he would be considered this minister might be heterian for him. Like, like Rabbi Gamliel, who was an Istanis, and he, he was he had severe tsar, and according to him, the Chachamim were not goyzer on an Istanis. Okay. Okay. I, I, if you have somebody that smokes, he's addicted to smoking. If he's smoking, he's got to smoke every day. Go ahead. Okay. So uh, how is that different than that person in shower? If you can't have a cigarette, it doesn't matter. Anyway. No, smoking every day. First of all, Rav Moshe said you shouldn't smoke. Because ushmartem is nafshacha, it's dangerous for your health. So the poskim said, you should not smoke. Okay, so let's say somebody smokes. This is like so, some addiction or something. If somebody needs, if if they don't, if if, if they don't get it, it's that day. Then they're gonna, it'll be a, a problem for them. No, no. So you for Tom, So if some people have a cup of coffee every day, and comes Yom Kippur, if they don't have caffeine, yeah. they get a terrible headache. So some people take, you know. They have caffeine enemas, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, right, you're not patches, ingesting it. Huh? Patches, uh, patches, or patches, patches, or patches. Or pills, okay. Yeah. okay. But you have no heter to drink, you have no heter, yeah. you, you, have, you know. I'm talking about, it, it all, it's all different. The sphera is different than the three weeks. The three weeks is different than the nine days. Shvur Shalchalbo, there are gradations, and there's a hierarchy, and there's, so we're not, I, I, I didn't, Paskin here exactly what the various dinim. We will get there when we get there. But I, I wanted to compare the concept of istinus, just like it appears here, it appears in all those dinim as well. Torah and You know, at a kvura, when we leave the kvura, you stand, you make two lines, and you walk through it. Right. So there's no shura by avodim. All the various brachas that you said in the in the Pesach Kvaris and the, the various nichum, we don't say for them. Maisu Maisu Shivchosu Shem Rabbi Yezer. The Shivch of Rabbi Yezer died. Nichtosu Tamid of Lanachamo. The students went in to give him nichum. Now Kivan Shiraosam. Once he saw the students coming in, he was afraid they were going to give him nichum. All al aliyah, he went up to the second floor. All the achrav, <laughs> they followed him. Nichlas la anpilion. He went into like a little side room. <laughs> he sort of went inside like a drawer. <laughs> First I thought even you would get uh, singed with lukewarm water. I clap you over the head with hot, hot, boiling hot water, you don't get a hint. It means I was trying to hint that I, sh I don't want to accept nichum for this shifcha. And I kept, I kept on running away, but you didn't get the hint. Didn't I teach you? So what do we say when they die? And Eved, or a Shifcha, was an asset, was a piece of property. So if your ox died, you would say, you would go to your neighbor and say, you know, Hashem should pay you back what you lost. Here also, Hashem should pay you back for your loss. Instead of saying, you wouldn't say that by then. There's a, there's a gear of, of, of uh, yes. for, for, his father, for father's dying gear, a goy. A no, a, a ger who dies, he's a regular no, Jew. There's a ger whose father died, he's not a no, no, he's, not Jewish. He's totally, he has, once he becomes a ger, he has nothing to do with his family. Yeah, but right. it's he's pretty hard. Ger, ger shem is gar kikot and shenoi It's not related to the father. Yeah, but, but, but the relationship, just like the, 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 the heaven was so close to him, he was, you know, he mourned himself, but he wasn't in the nicham available, he didn't want. But there's a ger of making said Shiva for his father, who did make guy and his father's a good man, supported him in everything for the Yaris. But he gave it out, we would give it out, come on, but I don't think so. No, 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 no. But we will, we will wait for the Tzurva, we'll see yeah, what the Tzurva yeah. Rabbonin says about it. Tanidech. Avodim Ushvachos ain maspidin oisam. No eulogies over Avodim Ushvachos. Remember, Elozer, 
a regular non an ev, an evid Knani is already oh, a shtickle yid. He has a mila. He has mila. He yeah. he keeps mitzvahs oh, yeah. for. Like a, so when all of these dinim that we say we, they uh, don't yeah, exist, uh, a goy Allah has come for come that we don't do. Rabbi Yosi Oimer im evid kosher who Oimrim alav havi ish tov. Now let's say the evid was a, a solid citizen. He was honest. He was trustworthy. What do you say about him? You say he was a good man, neman, loyal, the nenemi gil, and he didn't steal. He, you know, everything he earned, he earned from himself. Armulo in Cain, my not to look shaven. They told him that's a very good hesped for every Jew to be able to have that said. What have you left over for a kosher if you say that for an Evan? Torah 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 Ain koren avois, ela l'shloisha. We only have three avois: Avram, Yosef, and Yaakov. The ain koren imos ela l'arba. We only have uh, four imos: Sora, Rivka, Rachel, Valea. Avois maitan. Why do we only have three avois? E lemi mishum dulo yadin ani mi Reuven kasi ani mi Shimon kasi non. Now maybe if we knew who our shevet was, we would have more than three avois. Because I'm from Reuven. I'm from Shimon. Now, are you telling me the reason we only have three is because we don't know who we're from? Now, we all know that we're at least from Sarah and Rivka, but we don't know if we're Rachel or Leah. So it's the same if you're going to say that, then why do we have four Imos? Meaning, it has to do with Hashivas. There are three Ovois and four Imos, and that's it. It has to do with Hashivas. Reuben, Shimon, and they're not as Hashivas. We know a coin is made from, well, we know, we don't know for sure. A coin obviously came from Levi. From Shevet Levi, we don't if, know. If his, if his, he if can, his, if he can prove it. He can go back can, all the way. It's like all of us. Yeah. Just like you. He has a Masora. Yeah. So which one would be made from Binyamin? Binyamin and, and Yehuda, yeah. primarily. Yeah. But I have a great grandfather of Shimon Yaroslover. Who wrote Svam Torah Shimon Al Shimon? He he received the Chaloim or something <coughs> that he is Shevet Naftali. So the, the, the grandchildren wrote Ayola Shlucha, which is the bracha for Naftali. So he had some kind of Masorah that he was from Shevet Naftali, because there is a Masorah that there are representatives of every Shevet amongst Klal Yisrael. Can't be that there isn't a representative of every Shevet among Klal Yisrael. There is. There is. There is. Of, of all 12 Shvatim. Now, not only that, there are remnants of the other Shvatim, we just don't know who they are. But even within Yiddishkai, like there's B'nai Menashe, like in India now, there's some of them have come, and there's B'nai Afray, and they know they live in Pakistan. Now, the other ones, I mean, it, like, it might be like, like this Chassidish Shereb, Rabbi Shimon, who said he was from Naftali. Could be others who have the same kind of Mesora. But primarily, the Jews that were in Judea, that were exiled by the Romans. Well, not just by the Romans. After the Babylonians, too, it was mainly Yehuda and Binyamin, because the ten tribes were taken out by some Tanya. Tanyida. Avorim Shvachos. Ein koren oisam abba ploini, the ima ploinis. You don't call them abba and ima. But v'shal ragamliel, how you koren oisam abba ploini, the ima ploinis? Frank, you want my solicitor? I understand. First, you tell me there's no... You shouldn't call him that. Now you give me a, a, a story which is exactly the opposite? Yeah, Mishum da Chashivi. He did it because they were Chashiv people. Onozer might receive Kain of Archecha Bechai Bishmecha. Esa Kapai Kain. Period. Avachecha Bechai Yezu Kriyashma. That refers to benching with your life with Kriyashma. Bishmecha Esa Kapi Zutfila. If a person says Kriyashma Davins, what happens to him? He will have all the good things, milk, and, and, and he'll have be satiated. He will benefit two worlds. He'll, he'll have a good life in this world, he'll have a good life in the next world. Shinemar. Usfose Renanois, the lips will sing Yahalopi. My praise. The Lezer Bosset the Messiah in Sluse. When Rabbi Lezer would finish davening Shmona Esrei, Omer Hachi, he would he would add a concluding tefillah. We should have a good lot. 
Friendliness. We should have a lot of Talmudim betatzliach. So feinu achris. We should be successful in the end. V'tikva v'tasim plakeinu v'ganeidim. You should place our chelik in ganeidim. V'tiknenu b'chaber tov. You should give me a good chaver. V'yetzer tov. V'lamecha. V'nashkim v'nimtza yochal o'vavainu l'yirash mecha. We should have yirash Hashem v'tavol v'necha koris nafshel tov. All the good things should happen to our nefesh. That's how... Rabbi Lozer finished one answer. Rabbi Yechnon, Bosser the Mitzrayim says, "Amrach, you are so of Nachash Amokenu. Shetachit bevoshtenu. We should not be embarrassed. V'tabit berasenu. Don't look at our evil. V'tislabish berachamecha. You shall always dress up in rachamim. We're begging Hashem. V'tiskaseh ba'ascha, and and." Uh, with your O's, v'sis aste b'chazudecha, you should cover yourself with your chasidus. V'tis aze b'chaninu secha, you should be a chanun. V'tabol v'necha midas tuvecha v'anvu nasecha. You should treat with us modestly. Rav Zeir b'osir v'nesayim slisi omr hachi. V'asom v'necha sham lokenu shlo nechte v'lo nivo shlo nekolim avaseinu. We should not sin, and by sinning we shouldn't embarrass our forefathers. Rav Chia b'osir d'mat sli omr hachi. V'asom v'necha sham lokenu. Our profession should be Torah. Our heart should not be sad. We shouldn't be finster by the oigin. We shouldn't be dark by our eyes. Rav basert slusi omer hachi. Now, this is the tefillah that we say when we are mevarich birchas achodesh. That's why in Nusach Sfard it says. B'schus tefilas rav. Now the editors didn't know what that meant. So they would they added b'schus tefilas rabim, but that's false. It really was tefilas. If they knew how to learn Gemara, they would know that this was the tefila of rav, and it meant this. This the davening should be b'schus tefilas rav, but instead the editors, the, the printers changed it and said rabim was just a mistake. They know now why don't they change it? I don't know. So Rav Basar Tzuz Yomrachi, Yerazu Vanach Hashem Lokenu Shetitel Lano Chaim Aruchim Chaim Shel Sholem Chaim Shel Toivah Chaim Shel Brocha Chaim Shel Parnosa Chaim Shel Chilutz Atzomos, like our bones should be knit well. Chaim Sheish Bem Yeras Chet Chaim Shein Bem Busha Chlima Chaim Shel Oshu V'Kovet Chaim Shel Tevano Avas Torah V'Yeras Shemaim Chaim Shel Timolenu As Komish Shel Mila Tova Amen Sela. That's our Tfila for Birchas Achodesh. That's such a good bracha. Yeah. Because it's it's a nice bracha. We don't have to say who wrote it. No, 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 they don't say all these. Yes, they do. Yeah, we do. We do. Yes, they do. No, 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 no. You're talking about Yichad Sheyu. You're talking about Charlie's talking about the Yichad Sheyu in Nusuk Sfar. It's much longer. Yeah, yeah. And by Nusuk Hashem, we just say three things. So oh, he's right. Yeah. By the Yichad Sheyu bracha. But this part of the bracha is oh, both okay, the same. Right, right, right. Rabbi. Basert slusi amrachi. You are tov enough for shemokeinu of kaseinu. Shetatzilenu me aze panim. So this we do say in a, a kind of sore in the longer version. Mm-hmm. The Sfarat says this. No, Ashkenaz in the morning, every morning after the bruchos. Yeah, but but this was said after Shmona Esrei. No, after the bruchos. I know, but this is said after Shmona Esrei. Basert slusi after Shmona Esrei. So yes, this has been placed somewhere else in our davening. But Rebbe did it after Shmona Esrei. Mm-hmm. We should be saved me aze ponim, like me azus ponim, me adam ra, me fegera, me yetzer ra, me chavera, me shachin ra, me sot amashkis, me din koshe, me bar din koshe, ben shu ben bris, ben shein ben bris. What does it mean, ben shein bris? Whether he's a Jew or not a Jew. Or a Jew. The avagav de kaimi. This was said even though there were officers placed by Marcus Aurelius, Marcus Antoninus. There they would say it anyways, even though they were they were not Ben Bris, but they would say it anyways. Rav Safra and we'll finish tomorrow.